Hello everybody, I'm Storm here. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 Abyssinia. In the last episode, we expanded our borders to the west a little bit more. Um, we held court. We fathered an illegitimate child. You know, normal Crusader Kings things. And we're still working on trying to, you know, grab more land, get stronger, improve our economy, all that sort of stuff. So we can hopefully take on the Abbasids. Uh, see how they're doing. They are way in debt, but they have a crazy army. They're fighting a another crusade. Uh, they also have another war. That they are not the war leader on, but they are an ally of this person over there. I would say it's a good opportunity to potentially try to grab some more land, but... Um, that massive army is just ridiculous. Ridiculous. Sixty two thousand nine hundred and sixty eight levies. Really? Okay, then. Well, we are still trying to improve the size of my own men at arms regiments. In fact, let's go ahead and do that. That should still give me enough cash. Let's see, my son has had a daughter. Amazonian, beautiful, and genius. All right. We're probably just going to go ahead and do is I do need a little bit more this, but do I still have, yeah, I still have that truce for six more months. So we're going to go after something else. Kingdom titles, probably go after this kingdom here. So let's declare war on you. We're going to holy war for that duchy. Uh, 7,658 potential troops. You have three allies. All right, well... You have 5,600 troops. You're pretty decently strong. All right, then. Let's raise the entire army. We're going to go way to the negative. And we're going to bring everybody in. Good win, straight out of the gates. Let's find something to siege over here. Go 
Gotta be very careful about my cash. Let's set it for the capital. See if I can catch that army, and I did. And we won. Excellent. Now, we can actually afford to hold that, but I don't want to. So, let's just grant those titles out. Had to sneeze a whole bunch all of a sudden. I think I should be okay now. All right. And this is held by this guy there. I don't have a truce with you, do I? No, I do not. Holy War for Kingdom. You, you have a kingdom? No, that's a duchy. But at least I need... Alright, our friend has helped us relieve some stress. A band of several hundred pale-skinned Sakaliba, enslaved men and women from the eastern reaches of Europe, have escaped the realm of my acquaintance, Khalif uh, talk as you may about how treasured they were in his armies and his harem, they have braved many dangers to seek freedom in my land. We don't have scars, their leader tells me, on our bodies or deep inside, but we are strong and determined. We long for some land of our own where we can speak to our ancestral tongue, or speak our ancestral tongue, and let the city settle in a city. We would work hard to make it prosper. Let's see. Holding taxes up, defender advantage up. The Caliph of the Abbasid Empire would not like this. Uh, I don't care. All right, we are at full strength. You are ally with somebody, but it shouldn't really matter. I'm gonna go ahead and declare war. Let's start with the local army and let's see how it goes. Which is basically just my men-at-arms retinues. Oop. With some levies to bolster them. The servant that is usually tasked with cleaning my most prized possessions comes to me with Negus Tesfaye's crown of Abyssinia. Did you know that after so many generations belonging, the, the crown has commonly known as a symbol of imperial power. Is now a famed headgear. Prestige up, short reign down, vassal opinion plus three, powerful vassal opinion plus six, powerful vassal count 
Powerful vassal counselor tax contribution plus five percent building construction. Excellent news. Then I don't need a new crown. It looks like. Let's go ahead and get that repaired. I still could use new armor. Let's see. The benign high priest testament of Abyssinia, there will always be a need for true warriors to halt any threat to the Kushite faith. With many aptitudes and few prospects of inheritance, I believe your son, Blood, could lead a better life. And he is very good. We gain renown, we gain piety. Johannes. You know what? No. I want to keep him. Keep him here. Maybe coming to pay homage, okay. You are gonna try and siege that back, aren't you? My prisoner escaped my dungeon, okay. Oh, war's over. Now, I should be able to go ahead and usurp that. Done. And then... Hand that out. There we go. Let's see, my son, Prince Zuber, has had twins. Herculean, beautiful and genius. Amazonian, comely and genius. Son and a daughter. All right. Hmm. a bunch of nieces as uh as concubines Hmm. The ruler of Igboland's wife. We are related, apparently? Whatever. First off, we're going to go ahead and demand that she convert. There we go. And you're really not going to like that. Force my spouse to serve as a concubine. Yep. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, yeah, I'll take your cash. All right, is there anything that I can do as far as upgrades? Yes. Let's run a couple upgrades. Anyway, do we not have primogenitor? We do have primogenitor, right? No, we don't. Ah, we need to have high crown authority. We can fix that, pass that law, and then we can change to primogenitor. It will approve. There we go. Now there's no more threat of our titles being split. No, we're not doing any of that sword. As additional payment in a recent trade, I find myself in possession of a large herd of cattle. Large cattle herd. Let's see if we can get large cattle herd, and we did. Improves development. My vassal is pregnant with a child out of wedlock. Did we steal someone's artifact? I think we may have. Vassal tax contribution plus 10%. Yes. Your new steward. We're going to take our 78 year old vassal. These are probably going to need a new steward soon. We're going to run some investments and some upgrades. Well, <laughs> as I said, we were going to need a new steward. All right. Our brother-in-law. We will assign you to be Stuart. Blonde comes of age. He is betrothed. An armor inspiration. There we go. I need 128 gold. I will have it in a minute. We'll go with Laminar Armor. Let's see what we can get. Yeah, people are looking for that rolling head again. We've had that event many times. All right, now, 
We're still going after this kingdom, so who's next? You are next, I think. Oh, we have a truce with this guy, right? Because we just fought them. Uh, what about you? We have a truce with you as well. Never mind then. Um, everyone wish to dedicate your commission artifact to. No. Um. Are we still? No, we do not have a truce with you, so... Look at that metal. I've never seen such fine quality before. 300 gold. Of course, but surely we can get a fair price. Alright, 51% chance we don't spend 300 gold. Let's try it. Nope, we spent 300 gold. Uh, let's see. My niece, Fazia, is scheming against my wife. Okay. And it looks like you went ahead and absorbed what you were what I was gonna go ahead and do anyway. Someone's inherited contract obliges him to more than we have collected. Yep, go ahead and increase the taxes. We'll accept that ransom because I need to get out of debt. My son has had another son. Robust, beautiful, and genius. Now, speaking of... You are my heir. Your son... is very good. Does not have a childhood trait yet. We're going to go ahead and educate our grandson. You're coming to pay money. I will definitely take your cash. I'll have my wife educate that son, this son, my wife, this son, my brother-in-law will be fine. All right. My vassal, Islan Amalmo. A cost me. Well met, High Priest. I've heard tell of your patronage. The armor. They say she's making a lamellar armor worthy of a bokor. Please take this and give it to her. I wouldn't want to miss the chance to aid in the creation of a masterpiece. Uh, yeah. I'll go ahead and pass that along. The whole point of this is to get a higher quality armor. Right, we're out of debt now. All right. Do we run into any control issues as a result of being in debt for a little bit? We did. We can take care of that real quick. Let's see. The flourish, she rips the fabric covering away and my eyes grow wide. The armor is constructed from horizontally overlapping steel bands that are masterfully laced together with cords of silk while the trim and lining are cut from fine lamb's wool. The set includes a kettle hat with wide 
the wide brim, the whole armor has been etched to display a repeating image of a zoomorphic motif. Magnificent, powerful, laminar armor. Illustrious armor. Palace plus 11, prestige plus 0.1, controlled territory defender advantage plus 8. Very good. Someone has studied Ethiopic. All right, good. All right, what does this do? Prowess plus eight, prestige, friendly fatal casualties down, faith hostility advantage, heavy infantry toughness plus six percent. Let's switch to it. I could use an improved regalia now. The renowned inventor Eliezer has sought me out with a very odd petition, carrying a pair of wings made from wood and silk. Long have humans lusted to soar through the heavens, he says, and I have made calculations. I will prove that we can. Allow me to jump from the tallest tower of your castle, my lord, and I shall serve you faithfully afterwards. Unfortunately, my daughter Hagos has learned of this and is begging me to let her see the aged scholar take flight. Oh, let's see. Possible outcomes. Let's see, 60% chance. See, this guy joins our court. Agos, my daughter, gets brave. Or the guy dies, 40% chance. Gets a trait melancholic. Gets a trait sadistic. Or melancholic or sadistic. And, okay. Or I can say, let me those wings I want to fly. 100% chance. So, I will not get wounded. I gain saw the world from above, learning plus two, stress gain minus 8% for 30 years, gain the nickname The Flying, or the, oh, 50% chance we gain the nickname The Flying. All right, let's, let's try that. I did not get the flying. You soared like an eagle. All right. I really should be leading armies myself. 60 prowess. Um. Like, we are the single most badass fighter on the planet right now. And there's a chunk of this guy that we need. I have enough cash. Declare war. Seize the Duchy of Air du jour. Yep, that's fine. 14,000 troops. I see. You have allies over there, and you're probably going to be able to call on a holy order. 
They're currently in debt, though. All right, well, I'm gonna have to hold off, actually. Because that will involve me raising my entire army, which I don't really have the cash right now to maintain my entire army in the field for long enough. Okay, I still have those truces. Yoruba land. I can holy war for your kingdom. Five thousand three hundred and forty one troops. Do it. Let's go get him. All right, good win, good win. Let's go after their capital. And we can put an end to this real quick. Let's go down the administrator tree for a little bit. All right, my niece and concubine has had a daughter. You're gonna try and siege. Yep, I seized a warhammer. And there we go, war is over. Enforce my demands. Holy cow. All right. I took that whole stinking kingdom. Okay, do I actually have that title? No, I don't. Um... Well, let's just go ahead and hand everything out. Uh, to nobles of my culture, my faith. Uh, speaking of faith. Let's create that title at least. Let's grab you. Let's grant you that title. Done.
We need our counselor to get in here and start converting counties. All right. I think this is where we're going to go ahead and end the episode. We're going to have to get this all sorted now. Um, what a nice, a nice grab there. Quick and easy. And we'll continue expanding. You are way in the hole, but you're climbing out relatively quickly. You have lots of allies. Hmm. All right, but yeah, we will keep working. We'll see what we get up to next next episode. So for now, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.